Crushing Group for starting us off with a bang. That was incredible. And we get to enjoy some of this later on tonight, so make sure you stick around for our later performance from the Ego. Thank you, Ego. And good evening, Oakland! And welcome to the 2019 Korean Culture Festival here at First Fridays in Oakland. I am so excited to be here. My name is Sharon Song. 안녕하세요, 송세로입니다. And together we will be experiencing the rich taste of Korean culture here at this awesome annual festival where we get to celebrate Korea's heritage, its arts, including dance and music, its food, of course, the wonderful culinary offerings of Korean food. I can smell it in the air. And we're here to experience all this, all interwoven into this beautiful fabric of our city. So without further ado, we're going to kick off this event with a ceremonial national anthem singing of both the Korean and U.S. national anthems. We have a special treat from a young singer. His name is Ian Kim. He's nine years old, and he's very talented. He's going to sing for the national anthem, and I ask you all to rise for both the Korean and the U.S. national anthem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Friday's longtime vendor, Marta Cassiano. 
She was owner and operator of Tacos Marta, also known as Tamales Marta. You may have seen her truck here on Open First Fridays over the past three years. The 44-year-old mother, an Oakland resident, was killed earlier this week by a stray bull. Family members say she was a joyful person and a mother figure to many people, and she always wanted to feed everyone. She leaves behind a husband and five kids, the youngest four years old. I'd like to just pause for a minute and think about Marta and her family and um, keep her family in our thoughts. So we're going to start things off here with a message from a very familiar face here in the Kono Business District. President of Kono and President of the Oakland East Bay Korean American Association, Joseph Chung, will deliver tonight's opening remarks as we get started. Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? My name is Joseph Chung, a president of Kono and Oakland and East Bay Korean Americans Association. I welcome all of you to Oakland's first Friday and Korean Culture Fest 2019. All right. Thank you. That's more like it. America boasts diversity, all different kinds of people and cultures from all over the world, including my home country, Korea. Oakland shares a deep appreciation for the arts and culture and has a vision to promote and celebrate Oakland's own cultural diversity. Did you know that the diplomatic relationship between the U.S. and Korea is 137 years old. That's right. It was May 22nd, 1882, when the US and Korea first established a treaty where they promised to come to aid to each other in times of need. Since then, Korea has been one of the most important allies of the US militarily, politically, and economically. And I'm proud to be an American Korean living in Oakland, California. We have amazing Korean traditional dances, percussions, and traditional musical instruments, and taekwondo demonstration, of course, tonight. Some of them maybe you have never seen before. I sincerely hope that you enjoy Korean Culture Fest 2019 tonight and learn a thing or two about Korea's 5,000 year long enriched culture. I would like to thank all the dignitaries who came out today in support. I would like to thank our event coordinators, Michael Kang, Andrew Bang, Greg Harris, Sherry Godinez, and all others who helped put this event together. I would like to thank all the vendors and sponsors for tonight's event. And of course, I thank you, the audience, for coming out and supporting Korean Culture Fest. I am confident that you will have a good time out here tonight. Enjoy the good food, music, and most of all, enjoy the good people around you. Remember, diversity is an integral part of American life and is a good thing. A lot of different flowers make a beautiful bouquet. There are about 50,000 people who come to Oakland for Friday, in and out. Let us make the most beautiful bouquet out of 50,000 flowers tonight. God bless the United States of America and God bless the Republic of Korea. Thank you. 오늘 2019년 기뻐하는 그 여름 저녁에 이 자리에 오신 우리 동포 여러분들 한분한분 한분 환영합니다. 즐거운 시간들 되시고 다들 건강하시기 바랍니다. 감사합니다. Thank you, Mr. Chung. Some great words to think about. We do celebrate diversity here in Oakland. And the Korean culture is part of the fabric of a diversity, so everything you said was very resonant to what we're doing tonight.
and we could not have an Oakland First Friday Korean Culture Fest without representation from our mayor, Mayor Libby Schaff. Last year she joined us, this year she could not be here, but we invite Mr. Sun Kwang Ji, also known as Michael, that's what his friends call him, up to the stage for a few words from the mayor's office. Thank you, Sharon. Are you ready to experience everything, all things capital letter K? Are you ready? I'm so impressed about the young singer that who can sing bilingual national anthem. My name is Sun Kwang Si, also known as Michael. I'm here representing Mayor Libby Chef to congratulate Kono to put on this Korean Cultural Fest because the Korean Americans is a very important part of our diverse city and the Korean culture have a very unique contribution to the art, to the food, to the performance and to a lot of like interesting things like K-pop. So I am here to also represent the mayor to thank you Kono for continuing contribute to our city, to the economy and for the last 11 years they have been here for a long time and if you don't know Kono is stand for Korean, Korean Town and North Gay. So they are a community benefit district which is putting up this wonderful festival. And I again thank you everybody for coming here and we are all looking forward to experience more Korean culture. Thank you very much. Michael. Next, we are honored to have our next speaker here, the Council General of the Republic of Korea in San Francisco. We have Mr. Jeon Young Park here as part of our celebration tonight. He represents the rights and interests of some 20 million, is that right? 20 million Koreans in your jurisdiction, which includes Northern California. <laughs> um, I'd like everyone to please give a warm welcome to the Honorable Council General, Mr. Jeon Young Park. Good evening, everybody. 안녕하세요. Uh, around 220, uh, 200 million Korean Americans are living uh, in Northern California and uh, Colorado and uh, Utah and Wyoming. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for inviting me to this wonderful and fantastic event. Uh, I'm very glad and proud that the Auckland and East Bay Korean American Association and the Kono Community Benefit District have properly uh, prepared for this event. I also like to sincerely congratulate uh, these two organizations on uh, its uh, successful opening. Uh, even in my position as Consul General of the Republic of Korea, uh, I am uh, very thankful to those organizations for holding this event because promotion of Korea's culture in a local area is a very important part of my job. Uh, and uh, I believe this event is uh, even more meaningful since uh, you know, it will contribute to promoting uh, the local cities beyond their boundary uh, you know, by sharing Korea's arts and culture even with the tourists from other states and the foreign uh, countries uh, as well as enriching the local residents culturally. I, uh, I think uh, this event uh, seems to be well promoted to other areas of the Bay, Bay, San Francisco Bay Area as well. Needless to say, cooperation among our consulate and uh, uh, those organizations above mentioned and uh, the city the authorities, including the uh, shop, Mayor Sharp shop and uh, uh, those organizations uh, was very perfect and good. So I hope that this event will further uh, thrive next year and our consulate uh, is going to continue to support it. Thank you very much. Am I supposed to...
taking this opportunity, I'd like to uh, present a certificate of appreciation to KAYLP. Where is the recipient of this certificate? Please come up to the stage. Nobody, please. Certificate of, okay, Certificate of Appreciation. In appreciation for 10 years of dedicated community service to enhance the relationship between the American society and the Korean community. I'm very happy to present this certificate to you. Uh, the Council General of the Republic of Korea in San Francisco, Park jun -yong. So they do public service, they clean streets, and they're throughout the city. I think they're based, are you based in San Jose? But they have um, kids here who volunteer, and they're young people. If you see this group here, groups of young people who are out there making a difference in their community. And I really believe you start this young, and then we're going to have a great future. So another round of applause for Caleb and the recognition they received tonight. Now, we have a representative from Sacramento here to deliver our next message. I am delighted and honored to invite Assemblyman Stephen Choi. Dr. Choi represents California's 68th Assembly District in Orange County. He is the first Korean American in California's Assembly. He was also former mayor of Irvine and the second Korean American to take that post in Irvine. We are honored to be joined tonight by Assemblyman Choi. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 안녕하십니까? 저는 한국 이름으로 최석호입니다. My name is Stephen Choi, State Assembly Member, representing 68th District, which means nothing to you but uh, the area of uh, Orange County. I was supposed to go home today, but I chose to come to Oakland to celebrate uh, this a wonderful East Bay and the Korean Cultural Festival with you tonight. I have invited a few uh, Korean leaders uh, from Oakland, East Bay, and the San Francisco area when I had uh, certain occasions to celebrate together on the floor of the uh, State Assembly but now it was a turn for me to come to you to meet the rest of the people. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so impressed. 50,000 people are gathering every month to fill up this district where so many Korean businesses are flourished and uh, representing Korean food, Korean culture, and uh, many other businesses. It's uh, such a very impressive occasion since I know that uh, in the city of Irvine, I founded the Korean Irvine Cultural Festival 10 years ago. We meet only once a year, and we have only about 10,000 people present, but uh, you attract 50,000. What an achievement. Anyway, as the um, chairman, Mr. Joseph Chung, a while ago mentioned that this is a beautiful location that so many different uh, cultures uh, get together, learn each other, and uh, share our experiences, and uh, we learn how to live uh, in peace and harmony. 
that should be the uh, ultimate purpose uh, of this uh, type of uh, cultural diversity and a certain ethnic cultural festival. I understand that today is a featuring Korean culture. However, next month will be some other culture. Next month will be some other themes. What a beautiful idea that you have. As a representative of uh, my district, but also as a Korean American myself, I do represent the entire Korean American communities uh, of the entire state. Furthermore, whatever the vote uh, that I cast will influence uh, every one of you living in the state of California. So I'm here to uh, send a message not only to Korean Americans, but everybody else. If you have a certain issues, I'll be happy to meet with you and discuss a certain issues. So many important bills right now we are voting on on the floor until end of next week. It's a such a privilege for me to represent you and uh, as a first generation Korean American who came here 50 years ago with a $50 in my pocket. Many people tell me that you are the American dream that you have achieved. That's what I would like to promote for everybody else who have immigrated, whether you are first generation, 1.5 generation, or second generation, doesn't matter. If a first generation guy with a very little English, with a very little money, have achieved with a dream that I can uh, achieve in this country, and uh, working with you at the State Assembly, then you can do the same thing. We can share the same vision. That's what the hope I would like to share with my second generation people, third generation people, and the rest of you. I'm so happy to be here with you tonight and looking forward to enjoy tonight's cultural festival. And with that, let me call upon the president, Mr. Joseph Chung, up on here and uh, recognize his hard work by presenting a certif certificate of recognition from the uh, state legislature uh, to the Korean uh, North Gate uh, for your great achievement in recognition of uh, community leadership and an outreach and at the same time uh, personally named to Joseph Chung for your service uh, as a person of the uh, Korean North Gate community. Congratulations, uh, I'm happy to meet with you. Let's celebrate. by your story, I'll ask Ms. Lindy Landmark to come up. We'll be joined by an integral member of the Kono community. She has worked with Sutter Health for more than a decade. She's also a part of Samuel University's Ethnic Health Institute. Ms. Landmark is passionate about promoting and facilitating community partnership development and collaborative planning. Thank you for being here, Ms. Mindy Landmark. Thank you and good evening, I'm Young Aseo. My name is Mindy Landmark, Kono board member and community health manager for Sutter Health. And our health is influenced by settings in which we live, learn, work, shop, and play. Feeling safe in one's home and community is fundamental to overall health. In our most recent community health needs assessment, community and family safety ranked as one of the top health needs. Sutter Health seeks to promote community and family safety in part by supporting the provision of programs that focus on interpersonal and community violence, prevention, and neighborhood safety. Engaging and empowering children, youth, adults, families, through neighborhood-based initiatives that build community 
and foster interpersonal safety is a priority for Sutter. Kono is an example of an organization within our hospital service area that measurably contributes to community and family safety through Oakland First Fridays and through its work to ensure the district is safe, clean, and promoted. Each of us here has a history, culture, and community that contribute to our sense of belonging and well-being. I am proud to partner, support, and celebrate community events like today and hope that together we can build a shared community that is healthy, safe, and inclusive for all. Thank you. Okay, so our final speaker tonight, we invite Ms. Jenny Kwok, president of the Korean American Community Center of San Francisco and the Bay Area. The center has a long history here in this region. Established in 1912, the group assists Korean Americans in the Bay Area and seeks to promote the cultural, social, educational, and economic progress of its community. This group has provided various services and classes to more than 150,000 Korean Americans over the years at absolutely no cost. So please welcome Ms. Jenny Kwok, the 31st president of the group. Hi everyone. Welcome to distinguished guests, friends, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to personally welcome to each of you to Korean Culture Day. Today, we are celebrating anniversary of Korean American Community Center of Oakland and East Bay. Through this event, we hope the old attendants will be able to learn about the traditions and history of the Korean culture and for our young children and appreciate the history of the roots. Especially, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to President Joseph Chung and Chairman and all volunteers for the memorable event in Oakland. This is the festival and I hope you will enjoy the many of diverse performances, activities, foods for the rest of the day. Thank you. 오늘의 특별한 주인공이신 북가주 북가주 교민 여러분, 오늘 한국의 날 문화 축제에 오신 것을 진심으로 환영합니다. 오늘 축제는 대한민국 또 샌프란시스 또 오클랜드 이스트베이의 한인회를 기념하기 위한 자리입니다. 이 행사를 계기로 우리 이 세대에 자라나는 애들에게는 올바른 정체성과 긍지를 심어주며 현지인들에게는 우리의 전통 문화를 소개하며 친목과 화합을 도모하는 뜻깊은 자리가 되기를 기대합니다. 오클랜드 이스베이 조셉정 회장님과 모든 준비하신 위원장을 비롯하여 관계자분들 또 공연팀 그리고 봉사자 봉사자 분들의 노고와 뜨거운 열정에 경의를 표하고 감사를 드립니다. 한국의 날 문화 축제 개최를 감사드리며 교민 여러분의 각 가정에 건강과 행운과 화목이 가득하기를 기원 드립니다. 감사합니다. I do have one more representative here who'd like to come up here. We have Ayana from State Assemblyman's Rob Bonta's office. He is a fellow East Bay resident, Assemblyman Bonta, has fought for justice and equality his whole career. He represents the 18th district, which includes Oakland. If Ayana, you could come up here with a few remarks from the Assemblyman's office. Hi, welcome. 
welcome to the 2019 Korean Culture Festival. My name is Ayana. I represent um, Assembly Member Rob Bonta's office, who represents Oakland, Alameda, and San Leandro. And we would just like to say thank you so much to the organizers and to the Korean American population and community here in Oakland and the East Bay. Our office champions what we call our California values, which are opportunity, inclusion, diversity, and justice. And we believe that diversity makes us stronger. And what makes Oakland Oakland is the people and its community and the beauty you bring. So thank you so much for making our community stronger. We are proud to stand here with you and stand for you. Our office is always open. Thank you and enjoy. Thank you, Ayana. And we're seeing a clear theme here. Every single one of our speakers has brought up this theme of diversity. And we are so grateful to be promoting that as the Korean American community. Next, we have one more event before we get the entertainment going. I'm going to invite our Kono president, Joseph Chung, back here. And he has to um, recognize one more group. Thank you very much. It will be very short. Uh, at this time, I'd like to recognize the uh, Caleb. Uh, it's called Korean American Youth Leadership Program. I'm going to invite each one of them to the stage, please. And uh, Caleb was established 10 years ago, and since then they've been helping um, like nonprofit organizations like us. For example, after first Friday, there's a lot of garbage stuff overnight, right? They come Saturday and help clean up. Uh, they do all the things behind the scene. And They've been doing that for 10 years. So come to the middle of the stage. All of them, yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll move the... Uh... So I'm going to just uh, give uh, one person uh, as a representative. So I'm going to invite uh, Shim Byung Kwan. Shim Byung Kwan? Okay. So, Certificate of Appreciation, the Koreatown Northgate Community Benefit District thanks Shim Byung Gwan for your invaluable contributions to the Korean Culture Fest 2019. Joseph Jung Kono, President, Oakland and East Bay Korean American Association. Keep it up. Hopefully we don't leave too much of a mess today. <laughs> <laughs> 